At this point, we can go ahead and we can pop out all these sticks of wood here, and we can make a covering frame for our flying surfaces. So what you're going to do, slide this aside, and cap this guy off. Try to get these ends squared up as much as possible. And that was no good. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side here. I think I just broke those glue joints. Yep. Exactly what I did. Alright, so we're going to come back over here and we're going to break this piece up into four little pieces. Sizing does not have to be exact because all you're using these to do is come in here and guess it in the corners. This way you don't have it break up again like what I had a minute ago. And now you have covering frame. So, we'll set that aside. We'll come back to it when we're ready to cover the airplane. Okay, we're now going to cover the wing. So we've got our wing covering frame. This is petroleum jelly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this frame over so that the little gussets on the corners are down. I'm going to take a paper towel here. I'm going to smear this uh, glue. Yeah, right. We'll smear this stuff all the way around. And you don't need a super thick coat, but you want it to be on there fairly firmly.
now we have this completely covered with the petroleum jelly. So we're going to take that frame and we're going to set it aside. Now, if this is not the roll of covering you've got in your kit, this is a, a roll I've got that's uh, some scrap just because. Um, anyway, long story. What you're going to do is you're going to roll this out. Yours will be wrapped up sort of in the paper so it won't come out quite this neatly and that's okay. Just have a larger, nice, clean, flat space than me because mine is a mess. So what you're going to do with this stuff is you're going to take this frame so we know how much we need here. And we are going to take the film and we are going to crinkle it up. We're going to wad it up into a terrible, awful mess just like this. And you're asking why on earth? This makes the film come out much smoother. I know it doesn't make sense, but it does work. So the thing that I need to do here is make sure So we're going to flatten all of this film out back, back up in here. So we've got this nice and flat. Now, Take this covering frame, and drop it down on here, and then, and this is important, um, it's best if you don't do this on your tabletop, and I'm about to explain to you why, because, I find my razor blade, what you need to do is run your razor blade around here to cut this loose. Now if you notice, can you see that? It's kind of adhering to the table. That's why we crinkle the film. Because it stops sticking to itself and starts sticking to everything else. Unfortunately, it's also pulling loose here, which is okay. We'll remedy that in a little bit. Right, so I'm just gently scoring along here. And I've got a tear in this film. It's from that's why I'm using this piece, because it can't be used in a kit. Alright, and then come back over here and you can you know, tighten up the film a little bit. This has gotten a little bit loose. Okay, so we have film beautifully attached on this frame. So we can set it aside. Now we have, right here we have our flying surfaces. We need to attach uh, spray adhesive to these. There's only one material I recommend, 3M Super 77. This is the only thing I recommend for attaching the film onto these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these outside, I'm going to spray them only on the top, spray them fairly heavily, um, not so, well, just enough that they're good and sticky, so you shouldn't see a heavy layer on it, you should just see enough that it's sticky. So I'll be right back, I'm going to spray these down, and then we'll, uh, we'll proceed. Okay, so you see here I have my wings, wing and stab, you can't see any extra residue, it's sticky enough that they'll stick to me if I... I stick my hands on them. Good and sticky. So now, what I want to do is take this frame 
So notice I've got those close together because this frame is set to preserve as much film for you as possible. So you have to orient very carefully this way and um, along there. And watch out for static electricity. Pulling them on there like that. I'm actually going to pull these up to where they touch. Um, because since we're not cutting this with a soldering iron like we do on ultralight planes, it gives us a better result. And so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my hands around here until this is thoroughly attached. So I'm going to ultimately just rub it down fairly hard. So we'll come back when I'm done with that. Okay, so I have thoroughly attached this. I even took a stick of wood and just rubbed around here in some of these hard to get places like back over here. Now what I can do is I can take a razor blade and I can just gently drop it through here. I'm not even pressing down or anything, I'm just dragging it through. And so I'm going to come in here on the tips, I'm going to cut them free. Can't get quite into that back corner, that's okay. We'll flip it over and get to it in a minute. And so I'm not leaving any excess sticking off the edges or anything. I'm cutting this up flush. So that piece has dropped out of there, and now I can come back over here and get the last few little areas. And I think I've missed something. Ah, here we go. Missed a spot. Now I've got a little bit of excess here. On the wing tip you can see some right here, so I'm going to trim that off with scissors. And that's all done. So I can set our covering frame aside. Don't throw that away because you'll use it for your additional models. And now, I remind myself, all right, so this is the side that's got a little bit of curvature. So leading edge, leading edge pull out one of my sets of wing tips here. And you're going to cut out four wing tips. So let me get all these out of here. I'll be right back once they're done. Okay, so I have four wing tips cut out here and they're all the same. So all we have to do is take, for example, a wing tip here, end of a wing, something like that. I'm going to set CA all the way on that. I am then going to set this up so that I lay back of that flush, and then I set my wing tip flush up here. This is straight up and down. Make sure it is fully bonded to the rib. And there we go. So, repeat that on the other side and um, then we'll get to the stab. Okay, so I probably forget, got to mention the leading edge, the heavily curved part is the part that gets the sharp end of your wing tip. Same story with the stab is where I mount 
There's a little bit more curvature here. I know it's harder to see. That's the front of the wing. So I'll go ahead and we'll see a, a stab plate in place just so you get a little bit of reinforcement seeing that done. I like to flip these over so I can see what I'm doing. And then I just hit it with a little bit of accelerator. And it's attached. Alright. Be back when I've got the other one done. So now we're we're all set. Now this part is gonna alarm you. Right here at the middle, what you want to do is let me show you this up close. What we're gonna do is we're gonna back here at the just shy of the back of this uh, spar where I cut across and I cut forward on either side here and now I'm going to come in under here and lift up that covering in that area I'm just going to peel it off alright so now you have a little bare spot come back here do the same thing oops don't do what I did and cut in, cut away, and then you don't have that problem. I'm lazy and I do stupid stuff like that. So now we've got those two bare spots. Now we're going to grab our fuselage over here and we're going to mount our tailplane like that. You can even since you've got that nice landing gear, you can set it down. You can glue to that. You'll have to lift it up a little bit, like so. That'll let you mount that tailplane. So we're going to flip this over. We're going to hit it with glue. We're going to drop it down on here. Like I said, we'll lift up the leading edge. Drop a CA. And there we go. We'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I've got this tailplane at attached by the, the front, or by the back, I should say. Take one of those gussets. And glue it in the corner down here. Okay. So it looks like that. So I just stuck it in the corner for reinforcement. Now, remember that um, Remember that post that we tossed in the baggie? I get that one out at this point. And we are going to break out another gusset. Here we go, here's one. And we're going to glue on one side of it. Stick it onto this post, and I'll show you in just a second what I'm doing. So, it looks like this. The tube is down here. So I'm going to turn that over, like that, and I'm going to just drop it in place on top of the stab. trying to do is hold it straight up and down. And there it goes, it's sitting in place. And again, harden that up. And I'm going to go ahead and put some accelerator on the side here. I'm going to grab that tube. 
try not to get any glue in it. I'm going to attach it, I'm just rotating it into place. And there it is, all set. And this tube in the back isn't, post isn't in all the way. There we go. Okay, so, final assembly step is to attach the wing. So, break off two more gussets. Take one of those and attach it to each wing post. What I'm doing is I'm taking it like so and I'm dropping that guy right on the side there. Attempting to. And then go to the rear one, and I'm going to do the same thing. So, there we go. Now, I'm going to glue down the wing to the back rear post here. So I'll put a little bit of CA on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it in place on the center line there. So my stab is level, in front of my wing, the, my wing is roughly level. I'm going to hit that with some accelerator. Now, this part's kind of important. For my wing, you're looking from the front, this side of the wing should be twisted up like that, just a little bit, just a tiny little bit, like that. Not this way. This will crash your airplane. This will make it fly well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that back enough to get some glue up in here. You can see up slightly there. Just a tiny, tiny touch. It does not take much at all. And there it is. Secure. Excuse me. One second. Okay, next step here is we're going to remove our wing assembly from the airplane. Hang on a second. Let me reposition the camera. So we're going to remove the wing assembly, and remove the propeller. We're going to take this thin rubber that's supplied in your kit. We're going to tie a tiny little loop in it, like so. I'm going to snip that off. Leave the tags on there. You'll understand why in a minute. And now. Stamp off another one of these. Same drill. And now, what we'll do is we'll slide one on here, keep the tags pointing upwards like that. Stick the next one same way. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to drop our wing back on. and you have little notches. So now your wing mount is secure onto your, um, onto your motor stick. You can easily just slide those off, the wing pops off for storage, remove your stab, and the airplane fits neatly, tightly into its little box, and you're good to go. Now, I recommend starting with this wing um, so the wing leading edge here is two inches right now. You say, I didn't see you measure that. Well, I'm, I would claim to you I'm just that good, but the truth is, this is an inch and a half tall, so I can easily tell what two inches looks like. 
And one other thing to look at is you notice my stab is roughly parallel to my wing here. Um, I want this left side of my stab to be a little bit higher than the right. So I just twist the tail boom. You can see now it sits like that. The lift vector is perpendicular to the stab, so if it's tilted, it pulls the tail to the right, which causes the airplane to turn left. So, with that, and make sure your prop shaft stays seated in the little notches back here on that pigtail. Um, that's very important for getting proper uh, turning on it. So we'll be back in just a second. <laughs> 